the 1969 Ford Talladega Highway Scenes with Diorama, coming up next on the Monster Hobbies Model Car Garage. Hello everybody, welcome back to another unboxing video right down here at the Monster Hobbies Model Car Garage. And if you love watching these great videos, don't forget to like, subscribe and share this channel with all your friends and family. Pound that notification bell so that every time I make a new video, you are one of the first ones to see it. Well, today we got a real treat as we get a model car and a diner all in one kit. Now this uh, Ford Talladega has actually come out a couple of times. It was originally a monogram kit. So I'm going to show you some of those great boxes of the past before we tear into this box. So let's go and see those right now. And now we've got a really special treat. This is a Ravel Monogram Highway Scene 69 Ford Talladega with die cut diner diorama, which is really cool. The Talladega was a really hot car back in the day. And of course, getting the diner is always a cool treat. So this is a longer box. I'm not gonna be able to turn this on its end. But anyway, here's all the cool things we get on the side. And of course we get, dun da 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 a 69 Ford Talladega. <laughs> uh, contains an easy assemble die cut cardboard diner scene, colorful assortment of vintage travel decals and factory stock striping, which is always cool, molded in white and clear with chrome and plated parts and black vinyl tires. The car itself is eight and a half inches long, which is huge, 92 pieces and all the rest. There's our color callout sheet. And here's a side view of the model and the car. And I met the guy that built this online, the original builder, and uh, he's got a lot of cool things. So I'm not going to be able to flip this on its end. So here I'm just going to spin rotate. <laughs> there we go. So this is a skill level 2 kit for ages 10 and up. Requires your glue and your paintbrush. And paint, heh, <laughs> of course. There it is under the hood with the correct Ford dark blue in there. So really well done. And of course our back end. And what makes the Talladega a bit different from the Cobra, which I've also reviewed here on this channel, is that the Talladega had the aerodynamic nose, which stuck out a little further. This was of course to try to beat those great big Plymouth Superbirds. So now let's just turn this around a bit. Turn around bright eyes. It's total eclipse of the heart. Okay, we're gonna pop the top off this. A great big monster kit. Now here we get our instructions, which is cool. There's those decals with all the road signs and everything. Orange Crush, Route 66. Yeah, take get your kicks on Route 66. Okay, just move that out of the way. Here is our body. Uh-oh, got a little cracked window post in there. That's no fun. Oh well, it should be all right. This is a cool kit. I built a few in the past. All our white parts are in there. Hey, this is good for my camera time. <laughs> There's our tires molded as on a tree. There's our chrome right there. Beautiful job. Our glass to keep you happy. And then in the bottom, I think I'm on a part there. Oh yeah, there's our windshield. On our bottom here is the base for our diner. I built these for our slot car track. Maybe you've seen them in some of our older videos. These go together really well. It's always good to have another. I think mine sun faded. The diner. And then the roof. I found these things are closer to a 32nd scale than they are 24th. But anyway, that might have been just to shrink them to fit in the box. So speaking of the box, let's remove it and let's take a look at our instructions. And here we are with our Highway Scene 69 Ford Talladega and the diner instructions. And of course we get a big history in here, but the main thing we are concerned with is the engine, which of course is a Cobra Jet 428. The perfect vehicle for a diner hunting trip. <laughs> and if you're also hunting down the Superbirds, you can beat one in the driving parking lot. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, we get our paint callouts right there. 
and then opening up our instruction sheet, we get our engine. So let's just zoom in on this and see exactly how this looks. Nice. Here's our engine assembly, all going together nice and cool. Aluminum transmission in the back, and of course our dark blue Ford engine color all for the rest of the block in here. Get left and right hand cylinder heads, the intake manifold, the distributor, water pump. There's our belts going on the front, starter showing in here. The transmission pan, which was really revolutionary for this Ford in the old reviews on the first model kit. It's got the C6 punched in the bottom. Then we've got our air cleaner going on here, and there's a decal on there. This is chrome plated, but you paint the bottom part in the Ford blue. Two piece carburetor, the chrome valve covers with the breather, and then our exhaust manifolds going on. They got a separate piece for that snorkel tube, which goes underneath your air cleaner. And then you got our fan going on the front, and all this pops into the chassis, much like the Mustangs from before. And then we got a little arrow going down here, so I'll just move this. And this, of course, is our exhaust system popping right into our manifolds and dropping down into our body via some pins and holes. Now we get into panel two, which shows our suspension going together. And we've got a drive shaft, which goes into this four piece rear axle. So front cover, back axle and our springs. And then we got our shock absorbers going under here and this all comes straight down. And then we've got our front suspension components going in here, which glue underneath our engine. Now for our interior assembly, we've got a bench seat in here and we've got a front and back which glue together and then that drops into our floor pan. And I'm excited because here we get separate molded details, which is cool. There's our back seat dropping in. Then we've got our dashboard and our steering wheel and our steering column all going together. And then hooray, separate molded door panels. I love it. They pop on the side and our dashboard gets squeezed in between on these little notches. So there's our entire interior. Panel four is our body chassis assembly and our glass pops in underneath there. We get a dome light and a rear view mirror. And then we move over here and pop our interior into our back body. There's also the rear chrome body panel, which you saw in our parts. Then we've got a radiator wall and the little radiator top glues on as well as our radiator with the fan shroud. And then in front we got a little oil cooler that goes on. And then we move down a panel again, which I'll just do like this. Okay, and there's our chassis all assembled. You put the little shock absorbers in our wheel wells and then pop this on and glue our frame extension piece right onto the nose. Panel five is our tires, wheels and final assembly. So here there's a little backup light that goes in between our transparent red uh, tail lamps going on there. And then we've got our chrome rear bumper, license plate and license plate decal all going to the back. Up here we've got these little grill braces that pop in. And then we've got these three little walls that pop in, vertical walls, up in the front. And then down here we've got our front grill going on with our headlights and our license plate all pop in into there. And then we've got decals going on there. And this shows you how to paint your battery as well as your decals on your battery. And then we just move down here a little bit. And we've got Goodyear going on our tires. We've got the back, the tire, and the front. And then we've got our radiator hose, a master cylinder, and our wiper motor all gluing up underneath the firewall. Here's section five continued in our final assembly. And you get a hood in here, which you paint flat black, which was to stop the glare going into the driver's eyes as he was racing this thing. Then we've got our mirrors in two pieces with a chrome insert. Door handles are separate, which is nice. They will look like the real door handles. And then it says to paint silver up in here and along your window frames and everything else, which of course you can do with bare metal foil, make it look really nice. And then just moving this down a bit, we have our decal placement in step six, which shows them all going on here. There's little GT emblems which go underneath your door handles and the stripes and everything else in this car will look amazing. Finally, we have our dinner diorama instructions and this shows the cardboard all being popped out and the tabs going in, everything folding over. There's our sign here. 
and the side panels the sign will pop in from the outside turning this over step two is the diner continued these are all the little side panels popping in and all the rest and then just moving this down a bit whoa trying to be professional <laughs> shows our diner being glued onto the base and what you can do is glue the base onto a piece of hardboard or cardboard even i did that for a slot car track and then we got a nice little canopy pops in this is where you would order from your diner and then here it shows how to build your decals using cardboard or actually what would be better on here is of course evergreen styrene and then you can make your route 66 signs and all kinds of other things and put it all in your diorama. And that completes our look at our Ravel Monogram Highway Scene 69 Ford Talladega with Die Cut Diorama Diner Instructions. Now I don't know about you, but I'm pretty hungry to see some of those white parts. And the first part we are going to see is of course our body shell. And this is a very accurate thing, except for one little bit. Right here there should be some groove lines cut in just because this piece of the panel was a bit separate from the car and it wasn't really blended in. But that's a quick fix with your Atlas saw. Anyway, there we go. There is a seam line that comes right off the roof pillar right in here and then goes across the top there, which of course you can clean up with your number 16 hobby blade and some sandpaper just to make it all nice. But as you can see, this is a very long body. This of course has the extension off the end, so the original Cobra would end here. But because this is Talladega, you got the extra extended nose. This is a very beautifully done kit, even though mine has a cracked pillar in the front. I could fix that with the glass, of course. Look at the top of the shock towers. Those are awesome. Battery again is cool. Windshield wiper bottle. This is all in there. There's your turn signals off the side. Up underneath, a couple little mold marks in the roof panel. It does have some threads in there which is very nice. Little pins to mount your windows in. Overall, this is an amazing kit and very nice. Next panel pieces we have are the dashboard. And I love this because it's got the gauges in there in pods. There's our under hood detail, the little latch, the radiator, our exhaust manifolds, our shock absorbers, the front shocks, and our radiator all on that wall. And then we have our interior here, which will turn over. Nice, you get the uh, defrosters and the speakers back here. Then um, carpet. There's no mold marks in the carpet, which is nice. They're underneath the seat. And uh, very nicely done, again, by Monogram. Here we have our chassis, as well as the drive shaft, our radiator hose, our engine block, our manifold, oil pan, uh, cylinder heads and the front suspension. Woo! Running out of air. Uh, again, very nicely detailed up underneath. Look at all that in there. Beautiful. Uh, there's our engine with the manifold and everything else. Now originally the first run of this model kit, as we saw in the box tops, was by Monogram and I happen to have that kit upstairs. Next up we have our suspension components and wheel backs. So there's our leaf springs, our differential front, our differential back. There's all our belts and pulleys, the master cylinder, our distributor, starter, left and right intake manifolds. Um, little radiator in there, our water pump, our oil filter on our mirrors, and the fan up there. So again, taking a look at this, nice crisp detail in here. This kit I've built before, it goes together really well really precise. So again, excellent work by Monogram. Here we have our plastic components for the interior, and there's our hood, of course. Look at these great door panels, even with the winders in there. They look like real winders. The back even has a little cigarette ashtray in here. So that's something back from the past. You don't get in new cars at all today. There's our rear seat and our front bench seat. There's those little walls in there and braces. There's are steering wheel, our gear, uh, steering column, pardon me, and there, it's got the little automatic transmission uh, selector up top and our front pan. 
Now this kit came out originally in 1990 and it's only had a couple of issues including this one. 94 was a box change, 98 is the highway scenes, and in 2006 there is a Ravel muscle version. So go out and look for these things. It is well worth it. And just to uh, for this, underneath the hood it's got the bracing and the mat and four little mold marks which you can take out easily. So again, awesome work. Awesome, awesome. Now we get into my favorite part of all the model kits, which of course is the chrome tree. And this is a very beautiful chrome tree, as you can see here. There's a lot of great details on the parts. So basically here we've got our wheels, there's a carburetor, the door handles, the side mirrors, alternator, valve covers, the automatic transmission cover, then we've got our air cleaner, our grill, our rear panel, and our bumper. So let's just take a look, and like I said here before, this is quite revolutionary in the day. It has a C6 on the bottom of the transmission cover, as well as um, words on our valve covers. I do think it says Cobra Jet, I can't remember. There's our grill and the rear panel. And then look at the detail on the wheels, they are see-through. So remember to paint your wheel backs flat black or semi-gloss. And then even the license plate shroud is the correct shape in here with correct size hole. So again, very nice chrome work from the engineers at Monogram. And here I thought I would do our glass and tires together in the same panel because there's not too much going on. Here our front windshield has the sun visors. You need to get rid of these little buttons on the top. There's our rear glass. And then we have four headlights and little parking lights and all kinds of cool things. Detail is quite nice on these. Our tires are Goodyear Polyglass GTs, which look like this. And as you can see, these ones are on a rubber tree. And the letters are kind of uh, short on them. That's what I'm trying to say. On the backs, there is no detail. So you could put white wall tires or red lines on there. But the tread pattern, again, is quite nice. These tires are thick, so they will go in your spinner, and you'll be able to shed the treads down quite nicely. And finally, we get to our decal sheet, and it is really cool. There are a lot of decals on here. Black and white stripes for the body. Goodyear Polyglass GTs. Decals for your tires if you don't want to paint them. And then we have these. This is a Route 66 board game you can make up. Knee high. Uh, Ted's Creamy Root Beer. These are all signs, of course. Orange Crush. Route 66, East and or West and East. And then here we have a Kansas license plate. California, Illinois, and Utah. And the nice thing about these is they're period correct license plates. So they don't say something like Torino or Ford. So you could use these on any amount of model car kits you have in your collection. Just depends on where you want them. And then we even have pendants here, which were popular on the cars back in the day. Sign for Burma Shave. All these little road maps and other cool details. And then air cleaner decal and all kinds of stuff. So this is a really cool decal sheet. And here we can look at our cardboard diner with a little more detail. This, of course, is our roof panel. And this would be our air conditioning unit up top. Here we have the side of the building. Of course, our diner window where you can see everybody eating. There's our door. And then the short order cook in the back, serving people in that little side window. And if we just turn this over, you'll see the side door, as well as more the dining area, sort of the kitchen area, I guess. And of course, these will fold out there and there to give us like our full diner. So again, these are very nice pieces that come with this kit. And then we have our signage, which of course is Mr. G, or Jerry's Diner. And there's a takeout window. So again, nice cool stuff. You just need to fold it up and glue it in. Finally, we get this sort of sandstone sort of concrete with all the cracks and oil spots in it. Of course, your diner would glue over on this side, and then the spots would be where the cars were. And here we have our 1969 Ford Talladega. 
And this kit I built up a quite a long time ago. I painted it with automotive lacquer in this sort of root beer brown. Looks pretty nice. There's the rear tail lamps. Of course, I painted in the red with Tamiya acrylic. And yeah, as you can see, this kit goes together really nicely once it's all done. Nice tight fit to it. And again, quite an awesome looking model. I did, the only thing I actually did in here that was special was to add in some aftermarket decals on the bench seat, which I'll try to get a picture of in just a minute here. And that completes our look at the Highway Scenes 1969 Ford Talladega with custom die-cut diner diorama. And if you've built this kit in the past, please share it over on our Facebook page, including the diorama. Well, I hope you enjoyed that great review of this amazing model kit and garage. And if you want to check out all the cool model kits that we have available, don't forget to check them out at www.monster-hobbies.ca. And until next time, we'll meet you at the diner.